hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is an interesting one the word back hello fear <laughs> hello fear my old friend hello darkness my old friend not gonna be doing this again i'm holding myself accountable to those of you that are watching imagine that i'm back on your laptop screen or your phone <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, it's been a what? It's been some years, and I thought might as well come and grace, grace you with my face. <laughs> oh gosh, this is gonna be an interesting journey. First off, let's start off with reintroducing myself. My name is Sabrina. Hi guys. I am in my late twenties, early thirties. At all, so I just got a bit excited there. That was rude. <laughs> um, I love music, I love food. My background is the beautiful island of St. Lucia. Um, I enjoy traveling when I can. And as these videos continue to progress, I will be introducing you to other things that I'm interested in. Um, maybe a couple of people might show up on here. I've, I've got plans. Let's just, let's just hope I stick to the plans, okay? Your girl's a very busy woman. Um, be consistent. Jesus name. This is just the first video of the 21st century. So a quick update since the last videos that have been out in the past. I have braces. There was a post that I put up on my Instagram years ago and I keep remembering it saying that I had been flirting with the idea of having braces didn't always love the way I smiled when I smiled because when I was little I used to suck my farm kids don't suck your farm it's never a good idea I was warned and I paid the consequences so maybe I should talk about my braces journey that would be interesting keeping up with appointments that it's not gonna be happy with me but <laughs> we move um yeah so the last time i was on this thing i didn't have braces um there were certain angles of course you're not you're never gonna see what i'm talking about or why i felt like i needed braces but i absolutely did need braces even on the bottom teeth as you can see i have gaps yeah yeah since getting the bottom braces i didn't even notice I had that many gaps in my bottom bottom arch, but yeah. Um, I guess the next the next video I can talk about is that. And I'm very much somebody that if I want something, I am going to figure out a way to get it. Like RRP, who, what? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I don't like buying things full price. I don't even like to spend money like i figured out a way to get braces and not for the full cost but there were clauses in that and that will be spoken about at a later stage this video is not gonna be long but it was just something that was on my mind that i've been bantering with my girls about for a while like adulting is a scam and our parents and grandparents really warned us. They definitely said, take your time, focus on your books. All of these things will come soon. Like, mate, I mean, maybe it's the, maybe it's the August baby in me. So for me, I was tired of always being the baby of my year. And I still don't look my age. Today's video is gonna be called, Help, I'm trying to figure out this thing called life. Let me help you while you help me. Obviously, please do comment below. Send me some tips as I give you some tips and let me know what has helped you walk out this journey as we're all figuring things out. We're actually not going to be perfect and sorted until we reach glory. And I'm literally just becoming very content with that. You know, God will not be almighty if we did, knew, had 
everything, everything, everything. Like, there'd be no need for him. So, in regards to that, moving on to that, encompassing all of that. Um, but some tips that I was thinking about that I think has helped me sort out my brain when it can be scattered sometimes I can be an overthinker sometimes there's so many things going on in my mind because I'm such an active person I'm a creative at heart that I'm just like all over the place mentally um not to say that my mood is everywhere but literally I have to compartmentalize things and discipline myself to do that so if I could just oh where's my glasses I'm about to read. Excuse me one second. All right. So, um, guys, based on Matthew 13 verses 1 to 23, this is a long scripture verse. Yeah, the ESV. We love an ESV. Okay, so it was from Matthew. Matthew 25 from verses 14 to 30 and it's the parable of the talents not the sower guys sorry um I want to get into the chunk of it which we will start from let's just read it enjoy um so from verse 14 they will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted them to his property to one he gave five talents to another two to another one to each according to his ability then he went away he he who received the five talents went at once and traded with them I see that this is in reference to you man so welcome there's space for you he who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them and he made five talents more do you know what this is speaking to me <laughs> so also he who had the two talents made two talents more so the guy that had five talents made 10. The guy who had two talents made four, so it doubled. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now, after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you have delivered to me five talents. Here, I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set uh, I will set you over much enter into the joy of your master and he who had the two talents came forward saying master you have delivered me two talents here I have made you two talents more his master said to him well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful over a little I will set you over much enter into the joy of your master verse 24 says he also who had received the one talent came forward saying master i knew you to be a hard man reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed so i was afraid and i went and hid your talent in the ground here you here you have what is yours but his master answered him you wicked and slothful servant you knew that i reap where i have not sown so he gets he gets from where he hasn't put um and gather where I scattered no seed. So where he didn't scatter any seed to sow any or reap a, reap a harvest, he didn't do. But he gathered where he did not, right? Where he did not sow seed, scatter seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers. And at my coming, I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has the 10 talents. For to everyone who has, for to everyone who has will more be given and he will have an abundance but from the one who has not even what he has will be taken away and cast the worthless servant into the into the outer darkness in that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth okay so the ending was gory but this verse struck me i'm somebody that oh my gosh if i show you the amount of notebooks that i have guys it's much so the tips that i wanted to give on help me through this thing called life i'm trying to figure it out write things down as i said i'm a creative at heart so write things down because when you write things down for me once i write things down and i can go back and look at them as i said my mind can be 
all over the place and i'm i'm somebody that is full with full of ideas innovative practical like i'm always on the go that if i don't write things down and then i forget it i am going to be left feeling like something is missing once you write things down it's like go habakkuk 2 write things down and make it plain so that he that may run it may see it so like even you as you're busy as you're on the go and you're running towards this and that and whatever like you can go back to to your notebook i like green to your notebook and hold yourself accountable for plans and things that you have in the pipeline or yeah whatever Tip number two, pray about everything. With thanksgiving and supplication, make your requests made known to God. Honestly, if you do not commit your way to the Lord, not only will you not move forward in it, but you're just not going to have direction. Like stepping out in faith and doing certain things, even if that's not where God wants you to be. Because he wants you to be in his will, he will redirect you. But if you just stay there and wait for things to just happen or stay there and wait for things to fall in your lap, not quite gonna you know so commit everything to the lord pray about the things that you've written about and get up and do it forget how you feel feelings are always going to be fickle you're always going to not feel to i did not feel to do this video here i am need to do it have to do it need to put it out so that's that tip number three do what you know you need to do if there is something out of this world that you really really have like a passion to do honestly just get up and do it in each one of us god has given us something to do um i'm somebody i want to leave this place empty that is something that we should all have like that's the mentality that we should all have if there's any advice that i could give my younger self or my my siblings or anybody that's younger than me that's watching this don't go to university only go to university if you want to be a vet if you want to be a doctor a surgeon a neurologist a physiotherapist a psychotherapist anything to do with the cognitive behavior of a person the neuroscience of a person or an animal medicine law or any of those industries that literally require extensive study anything creative god has given you that gift and that skill and i believe that you need to get up go and do it sharpen those skills um if doors are not open open the doors for yourself like i said god will direct your path you will do your steps and utilize them be fruitful because honestly most of the times this is something that i used to fight with um faith without works is dead cool and then there'll be another side of me that's like be still and know that i am god mm, yeah but if you don't work you don't eat he's actually waiting for you to step out of the boat um i know there are times where god doesn't need any help he's god almighty but don't get stuck don't let the enemy stick in your head and make you feel like yeah just stay where you are because it's fine no because you'll be left there stagnant watching everybody else pass you utilize the talents that god has given you if he's given you five write those five out and figure out a way that you can actually flesh that out that think, figure out a way that you can do these things how you can be these things how you can help others in those ways if you have two talents i mean lucky you at least you know the two and you can stick with those two if you have one i mean why aren't you doing it i believe that those that have one talent and that are aware of that one talent and are comfortable in knowing i actually there's nothing else for me and this is where i reside this is my roommate they're flourishing there if not, I really pray that you realize what that one talent is. But what my most biggest prayer for you guys is, however many talents you have, write them down, figure them out, pray about them, go after them. And may God go before you to open the doors and multiply the gifts and the skills that you have. That's my first video for the return of my channel. Um, hopefully, you'll be back please do subscribe please do comment below please do like share it if it resonated with you share it with somebody that you know is going through hmm, some things trying to figure 
things out. We're here to help each other, you know, so. And I'm sure I'll be promoting some other things that are coming up soon because it's not just me that's come and not just me that's here to stay. So I look forward to putting out more videos that you guys can see me in and um, yeah, enjoy. And um, yeah, we'll see where this goes. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Gosh, see you soon. Okay, I'm good now. This has been a lot.